Hey guys, I want to go over how relationships work in type ORM. The first one I'm going to go over is one-to-one -one relations. So I want to kind of just copy this example and show you how it works. So right here we have a profile and we erased it up a user entity in the last video. And I went ahead and just simplified the user itself. And if we take a look at my user entity, I have one field, just first name. That way we don't waste a lot of time typing out fields. So I'm going to create a profile that type script, paste this in, uh, and this is what our profile is going to look like. And I'm just going to get rid of that column and I'm going to call this favorite color as one of the fields. Now this doesn't automatically relate to user. To actually get it to relate, this is just another table right now. Uh, we have to use this right here. So let's copy that. and. What this does is actually create the relation. Now I need to go ahead and import each one of these things. Join column and also profile. Okay. So right here I'm specifying the type or the relation that I am uh, gonna be related to, right? So I wanna have a one-to-one -one relationship with profile and profile is the entity over there that we just added. Now I also need to say uh, the TypeScript type, which is also a profile, and uh, we're going to be getting a profile back from this. So now if we come over here, and I were to just play around with this, and I'm just going to open this up, say const user is await, and make this asynchronous, I can say user.profile and there's now going to be a uh, profile on the user. Um, possibly undefined, okay. If user. It's telling me that because I could get uh, no nothing back from this. Um, so we have now dot profile on this. Now something we don't have automatically is the uh, profile ID. So if you are familiar with tables or databases, if we go into this, we can describe what our user table looks like. Um, let's just describe, there we go. So you notice we have a profile ID and we don't currently have that on our table right here. We only have uh, the profile it excel itself. And sometimes you don't always wanna just load in this profile you might just want to deal with the profile ID. So what you can do is add a column and make it nullable, true, and this is going to be profile ID, which is going to be a number. So now I have the ID of the profile in case that matters to me. So now I'm going to just console.log a user here and see what it looks like and what fields are on it. And I don't care about this if statement now. All right, so switch over here and I'm just come to my playground and I need to really create a user first. So I'm gonna create a user, first name is gonna be Bob. All right, so ID of one, user ID one. And let's grab its first name. All right, so it can't return null. Let's go ahead and return this at the bottom. All right, but notice how we now have this field called profile ID, uh, but we do not have, for example, profile, even though we see profile column here. So by default, it does not fetch the profile. It just has the profile ID on it. Notice if we look at the query it ran, it says from user, right? And not from the profile table too. If you want it to grab that, you have to specify relations and then you pass any relations you'd like to. And now the relations are gonna be strings and they're the key. So I called it profile here. So this is gonna be profile. So now we're gonna fetch the profile for this user. Now he doesn't have a profile, so it should return uh, null. So fetch that. Oh, I forgot to actually return the user here. There we go. 
But you can see now we're doing, if I scroll up, we have a left join on the profile itself and uh, nothing going on here. So now let's say I wanna create a user with a profile. How would I go about doing that? So let's create a user here. And before we fill in that, why don't I create a type called profile? And it's gonna have favorite color, which is a string. And we're gonna have a profile on my user. And now one of the parameters to create user, I'm gonna say is an input type profile input, which has a favorite color, which can be a string. So now I'm gonna create one. So profile is gonna be a profile input and I'm gonna make it optional. You don't have to pass a profile when creating a user. So now, how would I do this? So first thing I'm gonna do with the args, now that I wanna create a profile and associate it to the user, I actually need to do this uh, in two steps. So I'm gonna say const profile is equal to profile.create and I'm gonna say args.profile. So that's gonna create the profile for me and I just need to import this. And let's hop over here. I just need to say extends base entity. And now I can do this. Okay, so after I do profile.save and await it, it now has a ID in it. So now when I create my user here, so first name, args.firstName, I can now pass in a profile ID, which is just profile.id. And then I can return, I can actually just return that and just do dot save on it. And let's put those on the same line. So now we're gonna create a profile first and then create the user. Um, notice I have to do this in two steps. I, I don't know if there's a way to create it in one, I saw that there is a profile um, type on this. It's not showing up in autocomplete right now, um, but it doesn't seem to work for whatever reason. So here's creating the user and we return back a user now. So let's try creating one. So create user, pass a first name is gonna be Bob2. And now I also want to pass a profile. Let's go ahead and reload profile. And it's going to be favorite color, which is going to be pink. Now we're about to get an error. Let's get the profile as well. Get that favorite color. Um, object has own properties, not a function. I don't know if this is a bug with type form or what. But if I just pass the arguments in with a profile like this, uh, as you saw, we get that error. And I can show you in the console, object that has own property. It's not a function. Um, but if I just spread the object like this, um, all of a sudden it works just fine. Besides not returning null for the profile. Notice how we create a user and create a profile creating the profile first and then the user. Um, I'm not sure why um, the user didn't create it on it. I don't know how, I guess, so it didn't pass back the profile when I created it for some reason. What I can do to get around this is say, const user is equal to that and then user return dot 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 user and then profile like that so now when I create Bob 3 who likes pink 3 oh what now we don't have the user ID alright I'm gonna do this in two steps oh I didn't await it await user dot save there we go So now 
Bob four, pink four, and bam. So I want to query my users before too. And actually, I'll just keep what I have. So query user. Actually, let's just get all my users. So notice again, we return null, and that's because we didn't specify a uh, relation, so it doesn't fetch it. So if I say relations profile, it should fetch those for me now. And left join profile, um, looks like I crashed something or broke something. I'm curious what this is returning because it's not returning my profile. So const users, we're gonna await that. Console.log users and just return users. Now I believe it did work up here, so let's try it with that. So user ID I think I have an ID of three. So fetching a single user works just fine. And we can see it does do the left join on profile like we want it to. So I'm gonna save this and see what we get when we try to uh, find a profile. So users. And, pro oops. So profile is just, uh, I guess it's null on a single field, and that's causing the problem. So it actually is fetching the profile, that's good. I thought it wasn't fetching the profile. So let's just, oops, let's just change our type. So I said profile is mandatory, let's make it a nullable field. And now we have no problem, or this query should cause no problem anymore, and perfect. So this guy didn't have a profile, that's why I was throwing air before. So this gives you an idea of how you can uh, create and fetch users with relationships. I don't tend to do this very much since I'm usually using join monster um, to go ahead and run the queries for me. But this I do do, so creating the user like this. Um, I wanted to go over real quick uh, one-to-many relationships too. Those are pretty simple as well. There's nothing much to them. And then I want to try a little experiment with this. So I'm going to copy this example as well. So this is with photos. So photo typescript. And so they're creating a many to many relationship with user. Or not many to many, but many to one. And so we're going to add this. Now you'll notice, you know, go ahead and tell me there's an error because user.photos doesn't exist. Now if I add this, that should go away. Because it was looking for that type. Oh, I forgot to import photo. So now that we have a photos type on the user, um, this error goes away. But for example, if I was going to call this photos2, immediately we get another error. So notice that's matching up and checking the type for us there. Now with this, notice one to many from the user and many to one from photo. So the way we're setting this up is the user can have many photos. So the foreign key is gonna be here. So this is where I could say column nullable true and I could say user ID is equal to the number. And then fetching this is the exact same as we did over here, find and creating as well. And also sometimes when whenever if things start acting wonky, always come back to this. The query builder I've noticed is super solid and works really well. Sometimes the relations, these thingies um, can act a little weird, like here, when we weren't getting the profile back when creating a user. This has always worked really well for me, so check out the working with relations with the query builder. That also works really well. But what I want to try next is 
if I create a user, if I can say user.profile is equal to profile. So if I could just, I want to see if I can set the profile like that. And oops, I still need to save there. And then if I can just return the user. So console.log user. So let's see what this looks like. I think this is probably the correct way to do it. So create user and let's make this a mutation. First name, alpha, profile, favorite color is black. Okay, we'll just say that. All right, nice, so we got it back. So this looks like a better way to do it. So interesting enough, the uh, profile ID is null. So we get the profile from this, or the ID of the profile, so profile.id. So here you can actually just set the property of user and then save the user. And did it relate them? It did go ahead and relate them, we can see. Uh, notice it does transactions for the inserts and it does them in two bits right there. That's kind of interesting. Transaction one, transaction two, I guess for each save. But yeah, that's all for this video. I wanna look at many-to-many -many relationships next. Um, those are a little bit interesting, so I wanted to keep that into a separate video, um, but that's all for this one.